Welcome. Fuck. I didn't even do it right. Welcome, weary wanderers, back to the village. My name is Cal, and this is Greylock the Analog Horror. This was made by Greylock, believe it or not. I'll, I'll give them a little subscription. Uh, they have 128,000 views on this first video, and uh, I don't know anything about it. I don't know what this is about. I know that Wendigoon watched it recently, and I really like Wendigoon. I really respect his content, and if he says something is good, then I believe him. So we're going to watch it. Yes. Primary systems online. Heating sequence complete. Emergency shutdown protocols disengaged. System was offline for time code 0106. Contact technician for assistance. Okay. Wait, so are we in a... Uh, auto-generated. I don't know if I want auto-generated. I don't have any. I don't have any clearance. These credentials are not recognized. Clearance credential requirement overridden. Administrator privileges granted. Welcome back. I'm your user ID. What would you like to do? Accessing archival storage form, Interesting. Okay. So, what I'm putting together so far is that someone is uh, opening an archive that hasn't been opened in a really long time and are looking into the information of it? Data extraction initiated. Data extraction. 10% complete. Data extraction. Okay. This is an office building? Someone in chat said it looks like space. Is it space? I don't think it's space. I think we're I think it's a big office building of some kind. All data extracted to error, no drive. Oh, and then it says sim sim. Symbio, sim, sim, simio, dian, USA. Simio, simio, stinky, USA. I have no idea what that says. Men pursue evil; it is evil that they will find. Mark my words: there is no good that can come from the pursuit of darkness. Sorry, this is called to the mountain. I apologize. I should probably give a little more preface to each one of these videos instead of just watching them. Um, not the, not a road. I know. I feel like every one of these horror uh, analog pieces ends up with me on a road at night listening to a pastor speak at me about how the uh, treacherous evils of the night are coming to kill me. Okay. So we already know that whatever this place is is shut down. And someone is investigating after the fact. That's important to keep in mind as we move forward because every time I watch one of these, I ask myself, what is the information, where is it coming from, and who's trying to access it? Because sometimes, a lot of the time, it's just footage. Like in, uh, uh, like in Radar, it's just footage from his camera. But in something like this, where it's footage from a camera and all of this has been uploaded to an archive file, points to this being, like, a known about event or coming from the company that we saw a second ago. Let me read to you, dear believer, the words of the late, brilliant Charles Spurgeon, who discussed this at length in a sermon all the way back in 18. Looks like we're in a snowy area of some kind. The mountains, even. Scan me. To whom he may devour. We are taught by our Lord Jesus to pray. Do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. What we are taught to seek or shun in prayer, we should equally pursue... Thought those were rocks, now snow. Nah, it's snowy. Please. Please. I, I, I live in the Northeast. I know what snow looks like. Oh my god, we actually had hail today. We had like snowy hail today. Shit's wild. Seeking to walk in the path of obedience so 
that we may never be guilty of tempting the devil to tempt us. We are not to enter the thicket in search of the lion. We may I breathe the snow. Whoa, hold on. Search of the hold lion. on. We may pay okay, this might be nothing, but look at that. Does that kind of look like a guy? That look like a guy a little bit, like a little guy, like a little wormy McSquirmy sitting out of the snow. I, I'm trying to think of what else it could be, like a sign or like a broken mailbox or something. Looks like a little speed rock. Maybe. I don't know. He doesn't bring any attention to it, so I don't think it's anything important. It just looks like a little dude. A goofy goober. He's just a goofy goober. He's goofing around. He's goobing. Oh, fuck this. All right, well, we're watching the camera of a dead man. So that's great. No, not the wind. Oh, fuck. That got bloody. What is... <laughs> Why are your camera not work so good? So he's looking for something up here? What would he be looking for? Whoa. Oh, weird. It's like, um, every, I don't think, I don't think that that's spliced footage. I think that that is, I think it's, I think it's the same footage, but like, it's getting like messed up as he goes along. Cause that bloody branch just turned into a normal branch or it, or looks like a normal branch until it does that. And then, yeah, it gets weird. Oh. The human skin? Human spirit? Bo Burnham. Hello, doggy. Welcome to the stream. I couldn't quite make out what he was saying there, but it said someone who wishes to remain anonymous, like something, something went up looking onto the mountain, but his voice is so like crackle dackle. I don't actually think I can make out what he's saying. Hiked the mountain every day for over a decade. They only have, they only have, um, auto-generated. Was that a MacBook launch into a tree? God, I hope so. I'm sure you've seen your fair share of bizarre things over the years. I couldn't help but... Ask what you saw this time, something like that. We will come face to face with the devil himself, whether we intended to or not. Dear he believer. just turned off his we high beams. Him by our own hearts. In Matthew chapter 15, verse 19, it says, For out of the heart come evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, false witness, slander. There is a shadow nested deep, deep within our hearts, within our minds, in a place most people don't even know exists within themselves. He's the flashing his high beams. Call to those depths, dear believer. And though you may tremble before the beast, you should make it easier on yourself and accept what it is that he bestows upon you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god
that sounded to me like the devil, like he said something about when you look into the eyes of the devil, the devil has a plan for you. Yeah, something about a thread. He bestows upon you. Weird. The devil is still with him. Once he's looked into your eyes, a piece of you will be tethered to him. And he will pull it like a thread. And you will be tempted by it? The devil, the believer, has a plan for you. That's what I heard. Okay, wild. So, this has to do with some kind of group? But what does this have to do with the devil? This video cassette is intended. Are there, uh, I should probably check to see if there's... No, there are not... There is a transcript. What? There's a transcript, but no subtitles? How does that work? Greetings, and welcome to the brief conditional protocols and orientation video system provided by Unit 13. Protocol and orientation system provided by Unit 13 as part of the United States Army and a Project Stargate. As part of the United States Army and a Project Stargate, created in partnership with Simeodyne USA. Oh, Simeodyne USA. That's what it's called. On behalf of all of us here at Unit 13, Unit congratulations 13. on your selection as one of our testing candidates. Thank you! We luckily have a lot of questions. I do. And this video is designed to answer them all. Okay, I'm ready. First, let's go over some background information to provide you with a crucial context. I need the context, baby. Understanding of what it is we're doing at Unit 13. We are sure you've heard plenty of rumors surrounding what it is that we do, but we are willing to bet that most everything you've heard is wrong. Being a highly confidential part of Project Stargate, which you've already been briefed on, Unit 13 studies a revolutionary and promising area of parapsychology. Thought forms. If you're unfamiliar with what thought forms are, that's okay. You're in the majority. So, what are thought forms? I don't know. Through the ages, I'm part of the majority. Recent spiritualists, Tibetan ones, to theosophists, have exercised the creation of what is sometimes referred to as a tulpa, otherwise known as a thought form. A oh! Thought form is the manifestation of a person's will. Yeah, so a tulpa, I believe, is a. I might have this wrong, but if I remember correctly, a tulpa is like a simulacra, except instead of being a copy of you, it is a, or a copy of a person, a tulpa is someone who does not exist and only exists because people believe that it exists or believes that it is something that is real motion or other deeply psychologically energized state into a semi-physical form existing as not only an extension of the person but as its own independent and sentient entity thought forms are also able to be witnessed and experienced by third parties and huh. are not limited solely to the person who developed them thought forms have been formed to serve as familiars companions or even friends to those who conjure them According to key literature, thought forms can be intentionally formed by a single person or multiple people, though they can be unintentionally formed as well. But they are always manifested through the deep will and focus of a person in a considerably heightened state of connectivity with their own consciousness. Traditional thought forms can vary widely in their level of influence in the real world. While they usually take physical formations eventually, their earliest stages are more apparitional in nature, with brief manifestations, though most often remaining as an unseen essence, much like a phantom or a ghost. Huh. In space, thought forms and ghosts are very similar in a number of ways. Individuals who make contact with them through communication devices, such as a Ouija board or through EVP sessions, while the thought form may respond. Okay, so they're saying that the explanation for ghosts and spirits is that they are these things called thought forms 
which are basically tulpas or people believing that like people believe in ghosts right like ghost stories of certain people like the maid who made the bed and then she died and she still makes the bed like that kind of thing um and i guess because you believe in it it can be communicated phasmophobia is sick phasmophobia reference dude it won't Ooh, Sammy brings up a great point. I wonder if the person in the that last video we watched created a tulpa, he regretted it, and was trying to kill it. That is a really cool theory. I don't know if... We don't know enough about these tulpas to know if they can move of their own free will or if they can only be summoned. So, I like, going to the mountains and hearing that thing, and the fact that he was turning them off and on like that, like he was trying to summon something, does give credence because he says that uh, using technology, you can communicate with these tulpas. So we can assume that the character in the last video was trying to communicate with one of these tulpas. In other words, and these are the ideal conditions from which... And then it, it, he, the, the audio about the devil tying a thread to someone... Uh, it, I wonder if that's similar to the Tulpa is always connected to you. Like once you've made it, it's part of you. It's out in the world and you have to deal with that. Thought forms are born. People may very well create their own ghost and hauntings. However, as more time and energy is invested into the development of the thought form, they begin to harness more influence on their environment until eventually exhibiting a semi-permanent physical appearance and, in due course, becoming as tangible as a living creature. Oh, so the, so this is this is like uh, this is like summoning rules. This is where Unit Thirteen's interest comes in. We've sought to answer a very important Scary. question. Can thought forms be created in a manner that would benefit American society and <laughs> keep American citizens safe? Let's go! Unfortunately, the practice of intentionally creating a thought form by traditional methods would undoubtedly take years and years of devout mental training. So, Project Stargate has enlisted a world-renowned authority in thought forms, a man named Dr. Bernard Hayes, to oversee a number of the operations related to Unit 13's work. His participation has been invaluable and has brought fruitful results to the project. Due to Unit 13 and Simeodyne USA's combined efforts, bringing together some of the most prestigious minds in the world, specializing in the sciences of the human consciousness, with cutting-edge technology and engineering methods, we've created a groundbreaking, proprietary invention. Introducing the Thought Form Manifester. The thought form manifestor. That's some Five Nights at Freddy's looking ass fucking scooping machine shit right there, Sonny Jim. Fuck that. Maybe he was imagining it being there, so he had to turn the light off to see if there's nothing there so that he could summon it. Like, if he saw it wasn't there, he wouldn't be able to imagine it appearing there. Oh! Of select, willing participants. Being that they come from the deepest recesses of the human mind, thought forms can appear in virtually any configuration. They can look like a person, an object, an animal, or even something as abstract as oh. a physical representation of an emotion. That being oh. said, it's recommended to brace yourself before touring the thought form chambers, as thought forms can also take on appearances that could be considered disturbing, like a creature one might see in a childhood nightmare. There's no. Oh, be careful, there might be a big spider in there! You gotta look brain. out! All thought forms are docile by nature, and while they may look or behave in a frightening manner, and though they are capable of making physical contact, Good. Act, they pose no threat to humans. My Tulpa is the it's in my Tulpa is the itchy itchy fighter. What are you guys playing? What is that? North Guard. Oh, I didn't know that was multiplayer. Oh, very cool. If this world, uh, if I imagined a cat girl in a maid costume really hard. Yeah, these fuckers, they're talking about years and years of dedication. One anime nerd. One fucking, like, true otaku. You know what I'm talking about with the smelly feet and the smelly hands and the smelly... All of it. D fucking tulpas out the ass. Instantaneous. Easy, dude. Dude, the furry community, if furries could make their furry OCs just show up out of the goddamn blue, we'd have a fucking apocalypse on our hands. Or a bunch of really chill tulpas. I don't know how aggressive they are. They say that they're safe. If the thought form manifestor is completed, your thought form will be securely transported directly into a containment chamber. 
Soft forms are unable to pass through the barrier of the barrier and will not be capable of causing you any issues. There are some very rare potential side effects that may result from your session. These side effects include increased tiredness, loss of balance, dizziness, insomnia, vomiting, episodes of temporary amnesia, and mild hallucinations. Oh! These side effects, if present, will clear up within 72 hours of your session and are simply signs of your brain recalibrating to the real world. It is recommended that you refrain from driving or operating heavy machinery for 72 hours after your session. Well, that other guy was driving. Experience no side effects. So after 72 None hours, side effects should cause you any harm, moral or stress. And former testing candidates who have experienced these side effects reported that they were very mild and merely a transient inconvenience. With all that out of the way, it kind of feels like every time the dude is lying is when it starts warbling. Like, it's almost trying to tell us, like, this is a lie. This is a lie. <laughs> I'm a piece of shit. With Unit 13, and your time in the thought form manifester has been scheduled. However, there are several required mind exercises as a part of this video system that must be completed prior to your scheduled day. They just make you do, uh, what are they called? The, um, uh, uh, oh, fuck. They're so, oh my god, I can't believe I can't remember what it's called. IXL. <laughs> they just make you do IXL sheets. In order to prime your consciousness and ensure the highest quality results, please enter the video cassette labeled TM2, waking your subconscious. Now, this is the end of this tape. Uh, have a good one, Dirt. Thank you so much for stopping in, man. It was very nice to see you. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your life. This is episode four, Unexpected Visitors. Oh, fuck that. Oh, there is someone outside. Oh, I just saw someone, like, pass by the window. Oh, who is that? Wait, is this inside? Wait, no, no, no. We're outside someone's house. Oh, yeah, there's a painting in there? Or a picture of a dude? Okay, very Mandela catalog uh, vibes coming from this, being on the outside of a house, like, looking in. On the outside, always looking in. Well, I... Never be more than I've always been, because I'm tap, tap, tapping on the glass. Wave it through a window. Tulp a bad word. No, it's not, I swear. Alright, why are we uh voyeuristically looking inside this home? Are we looking for something? Has a tulpa managed to become like a person, maybe? Like they're living like a life? Cause that would be very interesting. Home intrusion trademarked. This is very cool. Hello? Oh. Oh. Here, I'll turn off one of my lights so it's scarier. Oh. Dude, be careful with that flashlight. You're going to give yourself away real fast. Okay, so he's just breaking. Yeah, he's yeah, he's straight. <laughs> we're just going right in. All right, so we're the unexpected visitor. Fantastic. Visitors with an S, though. Are we not the only one? Oh. I sure love committing crimes. Wait, was the door just opening? Or is this just him climbing in? Oh, no, okay, we're inside now. Hello? I got my fuzzy ass DLSR. Just kidding, he's probably not on a DSLR. <laughs> Be gay, do crimes. 
You can only do one. You can't do both. Too powerful. What happened? We were having so much fun looking at a door a second ago. What, uh, what happened to the fun door? Fun door? Fun... Fun door? Now we're outside again. Yay! Wow, those trees look like hands. Ugh. <laughs> that crime wasn't fun at all. That crime wasn't gay at all. Damn it. I'd like to thank my producer. Who's this fucking guy? Is that, is that, is, <laughs> is that Eminem himself? Producer, my writers, my director, director, my friends, and you. The ordinary PP people who made me what I am today. Next Headroom premieres after Moonlighting tomorrow. Huh. They did love me. Weird. So you're telling me this isn't home, uh, Gemini Home Entertainment with a zoom on the moon? I guess not. Headroom? What's headroom? Didn't he hack the news once? Maybe. Oh, we interrupt our we current... We interrupt our current program at the request of the Massachusetts State Police. This is the emergency broadcast system. I live near there. You can't make jokes about that, man. This is not a test. All normal broadcasting has been discontinued during the emergency. This station will broadcast official information, okay. news, and instruction for Northern Berkshire County, Massachusetts, after the following tone. <laughs> after the following tone. I hate that. Yeah, believe it or not, the guy that we were following that was breaking into someone's house in the middle of the night and then we heard horrible, horrible screaming actually wasn't a good person. Do not leave your secure area unless necessary. This I think. Why are you opening your window? Oh God. Oh, that's a lot of screams. Ha 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 
Milo, no, I hated that. Hold on, can you guys very lightly hear my roommate's music on his headphones? Hold on. Oh, that was horrible. Hold on. Yeah, it's a gloved hand. That that did jump me. That got me for sure. Yeah, it's a black leather glove. And then it goes into... Yeah, there's like a face. A nice skinless face. A beautiful skinless face. All right, tape five. Not here, not now, not anymore. Are these victims? I think what we just witnessed was a victim. I don't know why someone would break into someone else's home and end up a victim. Maybe he was just also there. I don't really know. Well, hello again, Tiffany. Oh, hi, Wanda. Nice to see you. Oh, nice Wanda. to see you, too. No death this time. No, unfortunately, he couldn't get off work today. So I'm going to have to call him on a pay phone to let him know all the details as soon as we're done. <laughs> <laughs> He's excited to be a dad, huh? Oh, yes. Certainly is. We we both can't wait to be parents. Oh, and you said you've been together since high school, right? Yep. That's so sweet. And have you decided on a name for your baby boy yet? Yep. We're going with Max. Ooh, Max, huh? That's a nice strong name. <laughs> That's why my fiance wanted it. Night D-Bag, thank you so much for joining us. He says it'll help make him strong right off the bat. That's a pretty good way of thinking about it. So let's see how strong little Max is so you can hurry up and make that call. Yes, please. He's been moving around like crazy the past couple weeks. So I think he's really strong. Strong enough to kick so hard I almost throw up sometimes, too. <laughs> Aw, what a wild boy. Activity is good. Yep. Okay, hopefully this isn't too cold. No, it's okay. Uh, ugly, there baby. He is. Ugly. He's definitely ugly. a growing boy, that's for sure. Ugly. And you're both looking really good. Oh. Ugly. I love hearing that. Ugly, baby. Let's get some measurements to see exactly, yeah. exactly how much he's grown. Uh, uh, ugly, baby. What happened to the ugly baby? <laughs> Hold on. <gasps> what? What was that? Womus evacuatoris. <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> Where'd it go? Baby gone. Hold on. Let's slow that baby down. Oh shit, I just had it, dude. The guy gagged him. Ah, you bitch! Give. Bizarre events leave Berkshire in terror. Authorities mute. Interesting. Motherfucker paper pass to live. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. I've never seen that before. Maybe something to do with the power. Um, this is a bit strange. What? What's strange? Nothing to worry about or anything. Just having some trouble finding the baby all of a sudden. Maybe the machine messed up? Possibly. But I can still see everything else. It's just not picking up the baby for some reason. H has this ever happened before? Um, well, sometimes babies can move into certain positions that are hard to see. But, but, but you can't see my baby at all? Yeah, it's tough. I'm looking. Don't worry. He, he's definitely here. It's just like a Five Nights at Freddy's style baby jump scare at the camera. You know what? Why don't we just see if we can borrow another machine, okay? There has to be something wrong with this one. I'll be right back. Um... Oh, no, 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 no,
Tiffany Christol, 29, school teacher, uh, elementary school teacher, was unexpectedly, <clears throat> died unexpectedly Monday morning. She had suffered, she had, su she had something tremendously after the sudden death of her unborn son, Maxwell March or Merrick on March 31st. She was, she was unable to live with her heartbreak any longer. Was the baby a, a tulpa? I don't know what the baby was. Not here, not now, not anymore. I wonder if for a tulpa to be made, I wonder if it's taking the essence of what could have been a person or what was going to become a person and uses that to give, like, to grant themselves a physical form. Huh. The weird sleeping dogs up next. So what I'm saying is that they scooped a baby. Was that the scoop? All right, Bernard T. Hayes, a symposium on Jungian or Jungian physiology and the manifestation of consciousness, New York City, October fourth, nineteen eighty one. Humanity has fought tirelessly and passed through many great trials. This is the guy who runs the uh project 13 i think or group 13 oh that's him talking Okay, so we've we've got some good what hath humanity rot going on in here. Welcome back, user. Frank Porter. Please enter your credentials. Credential requirement bypassed by system administrator. Greetings, but no user ID. Did it say and welcome Frank back, Frank Porter? By system Please enter your credentials. Credential requirement bypassed by system administrator. Uh, version 6.03 for the U.S. Department of Defense. Welcome back, user, Frank Porter. Yeah, welcome back, user, Frank Porter. Is that not what she's saying? User, Frank Porter. That sounds a lot like she's saying Frank Porter. Assistant. But it also says un unknown user identity, so I could just be mishearing it. For user, project director, Frank Porter. No, yeah. Project Director Frank Porter. Sender name, association, project, date range for message retrieval. Okay, so this is a messaging system. Phone message settings. Sender, Paul Morelli, Ev. The Morelli Construction and Mining Company. Oh. Dates of receipt ranging from March 24th, 1987 to March 30th, 1987. Beginning playback of your messages. Message 1. March 24th, 11.14 a.m. Hey, Frank, it's Paul Murray. We ran into somewhat of an issue today. We came across these tunnels inside the mountain, pretty deep in. But, uh, well, this is going to sound a little crazy, but he told me to call if anything strange came up, and, uh, I figured this qualifies. People have been here before. Some obviously man-made shit in there, like carvings and stone. Oh, shit. This shit looks ancient, like real old. I took a crew in to look through it, but since part of the tunnels caved in some time ago, we're gonna just have the bus. Was that the something of 87? <laughs> regardless, 
but I still wanted to make you aware of it. Anyways, I'll keep you in the loop. Thanks. Was that that something? Message two. March 25th, 7.38 a.m. Hey, Frank, it's Paul. Just calling to tell you the day might be a bit slower than usual. Unfortunately, a number of the crew are sick as dogs. Well, that's not uh, a good sign. I'm not really sure what kind of stomach bugs going around or what. Hey, if you are mining in an ancient tunnel system with man-made tools and cave paintings and the like, and then everyone starts getting dead the day after, then maybe you don't want to go mining in that part of the world and you could go somewhere else. TESTICULAR TORTURE! <laughs> My balls. I'm fine. We'll do our best to pick up slack. I'm calling in some guys who have a day off, so uh, hopefully things will get a little closer to normal, you know? That being said, I don't know how the hell this happened, but the section of the tunnel where I caved in is clear. The tunnel's been wired up with a few lights, too. Wanted to see if maybe you sent someone in while we were off shift. Night crew said you didn't, but... You know, I didn't see anybody else either, so... But a few of the guys said they'd seen something running around in the woods surrounding the site. I figured it's probably the deer or whatever, but... So many red flags, Paul! <laughs> Pay attention to one of them, man! Maybe they're just paying him really well. Maybe it's a hush operation. He's like, no, I know it's some, like, crazy supernatural shit, but they are paying me a disgusting amount. <laughs> Seeing all the ruckus <coughs> out here, you know? But they all insisted it was something else. Something like a, a real tall man. I hate that. It's Slenderman. I'm a moron trying to cause some shit, but, you know, he ain't done nothing, so I told him to keep focused on the project. For safety's sake, we're going to avoid the tunnel until I hear back from you. Yeah, right. that's, a good, uh, that's a good idea. Message 3. March 25th, 4.56 p.m. Hey, Frank, it's Paul again. The guy you sent out to take photos just left, but, uh, well, he seemed totally fine when he got here, but we practically had to carry him back to his car when it was done. I don't know if he caught whatever's going around, but figured you should know. Also, we found some really old shit down there, Frank. Now, I ain't no historian, but we got a guy on the crew who used to do archaeology work or whatever, and I don't know. But I guess there's some old artifacts down there, like weapons and trains. Paul. 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 Leave. <laughs> Go home, man. Don't stay there. I don't understand. <laughs> Maybe he's just a himbo. <laughs> he doesn't understand. He can be interested and he can explain all this shit better than I could anyways. His name's Arnold Rivers. That's about it. Arnold Rivers. Uh, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep a mental log of the names. Frank, something ain't right here. Crew's getting worse, more sick. I, I feel okay so far, but I, I don't know how long that's going to last. I saw that thing the guys have been talking about. Whoa. Last night, stalking around in the tree line. I swear it had a face. I have a feeling that Frank is either ignore. No, he can't be ignoring the messages because in message three, he was like, hey, your guy came down and took some pictures. So he's clearly trying to respond to whatever's going on at least a little bit, but he's not taking steps to help these guys. He's just ghosting poor Paul. <coughs> Sorry for all the coughing, by the way. I swear I'm almost not sick. Message five. March 27th, 12, 10 p.m. All our food is rotten. Oh, that's Everyone great. Spoiled and covered in maggots. Not normal. It's perfectly fine and stored. There wasn't any problems with the generator. Leave. Even if we lost power. I mean, it's the end of March. All our food has been left out in the heat for weeks. No idea what's going on. 
Congrats on 5:30. Thank you so much. Yeah, it has been it's been a it's been a journey. I'm very happy to be where I am right now. It's very cool. Message 6. March 27th, 4:02 p.m. Hey, it's Paul. We saw it again. Something out here with us. Ugh. It's in the woods. And it's it's watching us, goddammit. It ain't no animal either. I think you guys gonna put up those fancy hunting cameras and see if we can catch anything. Probably a good I idea. Fucking with us? I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. It's a man on stilts. Yeah. Anyways, I, I just. <laughs> What? Wait, I didn't see any motion. What motion? I didn't see no motion. Did you guys see any motion? His picture's changing, is it? Oh, it is! Look at him, he's so sad! He's so sad! Look at it! Paul, no! Paul! He's getting so sad! No! His face is like turning into a frown! Oh, God! Maybe Luke was fucking with us? I don't know. We'll figure it out. But yeah, anyways, I just. Oh. Yeah, I didn't see anything move. Message 7. Date and time unavailable. Message 3. <laughs> Smoke on the water. Message eight. March 29th, 10 13 p.m. No, he's definitely frowning now. <laughs> no. Oh, God. Sorry you're watching this so late. Top five. Did you just see that orb? Was there an orb? See the orb? Top five orb? I did not see an orb. Message eight. March Is that a reference? 10, Is that a reference I don't understand? I'm so sorry. Frank. It's Paul. Holy shit. Uh, well, a lot of the crew here is sick now. And they're sort of like and unresponsive. We tried emergency contacts for them. But they now they just keep ringing. Oh. The they, just, they just kept ringing and ringing and ringing. Nobody picked up from any number we tried. No way to machines either. We need to call the hospital and he's the same thing. Just ring in. Just try 911. It's still nothing. I figured the phones were fucked up, but... The machine actually picked up. <laughs> oh. You all right, buddy? You good? I think I caught whatever's going around. Yeah, I think you might have. It feels, feels tight. A lot of pressure behind my eyes. My, oh. my teeth feel like they're, they're humming. Oh. Vibrating. Oh. You know what? What? I just all started when we came across that tunnel. Yeah. I feel like I, I need to figure out what's down there. No, Paul! I think whatever's down there could help my crew. No, Paul! Most of all... I feel like something really bad's gonna happen if I don't go down, so I'll be going down tonight. I don't think Paul's okay. <laughs> oh, Paul. Oh, good. Eh. I don't want it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone! Uh -uh. What? Whoa! That's cool! Wait, what? I want to see that again. Whoa! Hello. Sorry, I had to, uh, I had to hug, I had to hug my other mom. She's very nice. 
uh, she came in to say hello to my roommate, who she is the the biological mother of. Um, and I was like, hey, hello, give me a cow. high five. Oh. It is me, Gander. This is some real spooky shit going on here, I say, I say. I say, Anyway, I say. that was my input for the day. Good night. Good night, Gander. Love you. Uh, anyway, she wanted the hug, and I had to respect that, obviously. Oh, Paul! Oh, Paul. Oh, Paul. No, Paul. Oh, Paul, no, Paul! Oh... I don't think he's okay, guys. His kissable lips are gone. This is the end. Of the messages. This is the end. Of the messages. <laughs> this is really good. Whoa, what was that? Oh! It's like a mask right in front of the hunting camera. Look at that. It's it's like the uh it's like the puppet from Five Nights at Freddy's. Spooky. Authorities continue to investigate the recent crime wave that swept <laughs> that's what the mask is that's what the point of the mask is they say don't ask kid what the point of the mask is oh authorities continue to investigate the recent crime wave that swept across northern berkshire county left many of its residents in a state of anxiety and panic it was two weeks ago when the emergency broadcast system was engaged to warn residents to secure their homes due to the activity of a group of individuals who had been targeting and breaking into people's homes. Authorities have since confirmed that the attacks were, in fact, part of an organized criminal effort and have been attributed to a local anti-American militia group operating out of western Massachusetts called... Police have made numerous arrests in connection to... Militia and officials continue to release statements to assure the public that they are safe once again. We've seen a lot of credible information over the past couple of weeks and investigations still- I mean, I trust this guy, obviously. He's got the voice of an angel. Long going. We'll get closer by the day. Thankfully, due to the continued efforts of law enforcement, life has been able to return back to normal. Back, back to normal. To no back to normal. To normal. To normal. To normal. This doesn't feel very normal. This feels abnormal. I feel like we're not being very normal right now. Back to normal for residents of Berkshire County. <laughs> Come on, that's kind of silly. <laughs> it said something? What said something? The baby? The baby said something? Oh, it did say something. Good catch. Hold on. Playing with the babies. Oh, shit. Host of radio show center around government transparency. These events are the tip of the iceberg, says Jim Melgren, a former police officer who now works as a private investigator and hosts a radio show center on government transparency and accountability. There are horrifying reports of people, healthy grown adults becoming deformed, growing extra limb, teeth growing out of their scalp, people developing severe mental conditions or even sicknesses. Ooh. Wait, you can scrub by frames using the period and comma keys? Is that true? Wait, period and comma. Oh, wow. I did not know that. That is very helpful, actually. Okay. Hold on. 
Here we go. Engaged couple Alex Marsh, 28, and Tiffany Criseldi, 26, right, still together as they discuss the baffling loss of their unborn son. So this is the lady who was going to have a kid, and then it fucking popped right out of her wombus, and not in the way that you would usually want. And I think that was it. And then you said the baby part had a, had a I don't want to look at the baby part. I don't think that that had any words in it. Okay, cool. Good to know that was horrible <laughs> ah, thank you so it's, it's, it's horrible it's all very horrible all very horrible stuff you got what i mentioned okay good um we have another like 40 minutes of of Greylock. so i think we'll leave this for a part two guys mostly because uh, i already have an hour of footage which is its own video and then i can do a part one and a part two and then that's more content and it's easier and also my wife is home and i want to go say hello to her because she's very tired so, uh, 